Good morning. Well, it's Friday morning. Um, goodness only knows what time is. I don't know. Anyway, this is the last time you're going to be seeing Maddie. After I made my video last, the last one, the last changing video I did, I picked her up to give her a cuddle and I went like this and I had a handful of hair. Now, I contacted her artist, who was very, very rude to me. Um, well, she basically, she said, oh, you've had it 48 hours. If you're after a refund, you've had it. And I said to her, I said, well, your customer service stinks. You know, I wasn't after a refund, not to start with. And uh, and then she turned around and said, well, you're after a refund. You can't expect your money back after you've pulled the baby's hair out. And I thought, no. I thought, I'm not having this. You know, she could have offered me a repair. Her, you, this won't pick it up. Um, but her head is full of empty holes now. I said I could have done the repair myself. All she needed was to cover the mohair. I mean, I've got needles. That's all she needed to do. But she was so nasty that I I said, that's it, I'm going for a full refund now. And uh, she kept she kept saying, I, I went through eBay and she was saying, oh no, she's pulled the hair out. And I explained, I said, look, I said, I make these dolls. If they were glued in properly... Even if you pulled the hair out, it would break. But these are clean holes. They're empty holes all over, dotted all over her head. It's not been sealed properly on the inside. So, I mean, the last comments, after I went through eBay the last time, because they give you like a week or so to sort it out between you and she wouldn't so I contacted them again and told them this and uh, so they obviously contacted her and said oh she's agreed on a refund um await a parcel a uh, await a um return address sticker you know a, a prepayment sticker thing um and then she still had to be nasty. She said, oh, well, you're paying the postage. And, okay, fair enough. I've had her, what, two weeks, so 17 quid it would cost me to post her. And I think, well, yeah, as long as I'm going to get all my money back. But then she went on to say, oh, well, I'm taking photos. Anything anything wrong with her, I'm sending them to eBay and I'm deducting the money from your your return, your return your refund. And I said, I, I said, uh, no. I said, I don't trust you. I said, look, I said, not now. I said, I want a refund. I said, or you can pay me some money and I'll sort her myself. Or um, you can repair her and send her back. And she went on to say, oh, no, somebody else is going to pay a lot more for her. Send her back. So she's going back, sadly. Um... Yeah, I feel a bit upset, but <clears throat> I won't be called a liar when I know I'm right. She's been poorly made. Even though she looks lovely, there is things wrong with her. So she is going back and to the nasty lady that made her. And hopefully she get a new mummy. Um, yeah, so that leaves me, I'm I'm not going to buy another one. This put me off, well at the moment I don't plan to buy another one. And certainly not off of her. Um, I'll just stick with Lily and Jack from now on. The trouble is I've got so many baby clothes, girl clothes that I've bought because of 
um, I had three girls. <laughs> I had Lily, Poppy and Maddie. And of course now I'm doing, I've got Lily and Jack because Poppy became Jack. So as Lily's got a lot of clothes to wear. Um, some of those obviously I can send off with babies that I do. And uh, I said to her, you know, I said, I sell dolls for a fraction of what I paid for Maddie. Um, you know, for for the dolls you make, I sell dolls for a fraction of that price. I said, and I would recommend my work. If anyone had a problem, I always say, 